Hi guys. It's a winter wonderland outside. And there goes Ruby. Uh, I'm trying not to fall here, but if I do fall, I'm falling with the camera on. Because that would be great. <laughs> but it's very deep snow. And Ruby's very excited. But she doesn't know yet that we have to go around every morning because that door is frozen shut. But we'll try it anyways. Willow's stall is right on the other side of this brick wall. Okay, I guess one of them was laying down and got up because I turned the lights on. Okay. Hi! Hi and hi. Okay. What I always, how I feed all of the ponies and horses is the slowest one gets fed first, then the second slowest, and then the fastest. Hey, no thank you. You can spill your grain all you want. Wait. There you go, good girl. They all take advantage of me when I have the camera. Except for Stella, because she's always good. I'm going to stand over it. Good girl. I guess she was the one laying down, because, uh, yeah. One, two, and... Three ponies all fit. Now I just have to take off Willow's blanket. too much dead grass so yeah mm, you're fat you're fat I still have you my god hi <laughs> Have you been videoing? Have you been talking? Let me check Stella. Good morning guys. Welcome to today. Today is going to be the scariest video on earth. Here watch out. Some people said Stella's been looking fat and it makes me nervous. Uh, I don't know. I think she looks the same. A little dehydrated because they don't like to drink. But the same. A little furry. But she doesn't want to look fat. Stella, you not be looking fat. that they need to put hay out before they let the ponies out, but they keep forgetting. Gabby, the poor ponies are out there with no food. They're like, what's happening? 
Anyway, today is a blizzard, as you can see, and I am a nervous Nelly behind the wheel to begin with, but we have to drive. She lives out in the middle of nowhere, and I'm going to risk it because her horses need to eat. She's relying on me. You guys, I got this. I have to do it. It's not packing slow. It's actually very light snow, so you're, you should be fine. You have winter tires. It's not going to make you fall into a ditch. are so much different than boys. The boys have been chasing the girls to get their hay. Anyway, yesterday we didn't go and see our boys. I'm sick over it last night when I was, thought it would be okay, but last night when I was trying to go to sleep, I was so worried, thinking like it was the first day we didn't go see them. Today, today we're gonna go see them. It's a blizzard. I'm gonna be driving my butt off in a blizzard. All right, you guys, here we go. We're going on an adventure. We didn't bring yeah, Ruby. We didn't in a rocket ship. Yeah. Mom, don't get stuck. I'm probably like sitting on my ear. I will not get stuck. If I get stuck, at least I have three people. I mean, two people Mom. to dig me out and push. This is terrible, you guys. This is horrifying. Show them what I'm following. I literally feel like having a mental breakdown, but I want to be an example for my kids, but I'm sorry kids. <laughs> I'm not driving. We're being examples for you I right now. I don't know how to drive in bad weather. I don't drive in bad weather because it's not safe, and so I don't do it. So I have to do it today because the horses have to get fed. It's just really scary, and I don't want to kill a horse. Like, I don't want to go down a hill with the Amish guy in front of me with his poor horse being pulled and then slide. I don't know how to handle slides. All I know is not put on the brakes because I did that one time before. That did not end well. This is scary, guys. It's going to take us forever to get there. I'm going on fast 18 miles, 18 kilometers an hour. And I'm catching up to this poor horse. Yeah, who's walking now? Yeah. We made it. Isn't it beautiful here though? <laughs> Guys, I know a lot of people are not scared to do scary things, but driving in a blizzard is scary. You slide all the time, and if there are cars coming, you like me being in control of the car when I'm sliding in traffic is so scary to me. And just all of it is just awful. Like I don't do this because I know that I'm scared of it. But when there are horses and there's no other choice, like somebody has to feed them, it's 9 a.m. And we're gonna here to oh, feed them. Right, we did it. Their water was empty. Uh, why is there a wheelbarrow full of hay in the field? Yeah, let's see an avalanche. Oh, I don't know. I can't see back there. Oh. Do you guys see it? See an avalanche? These horses are like, oh gosh. <gasps> Do another. Oh, let's go. Driving here has reminded me, like it's times like this that remind me 
of all the things I'm grateful for. There was a time that I wouldn't have had super warm mitts and super warm socks and all these things because we never spent much time outside in bad weather like this. But now that we have horses, it was a priority. So we all have the stuff that we need. Not that my kids actually use it or wear it, but super grateful to be warm out here. I don't know if you guys can see back there. Gabby's having avala avalanches everywhere. The horses are like, what are you doing? All right, we should go because it's going to take us a long time to get home. It's the first one that I did the avalanche on. Where's the baby? Over here. This is the baby butt. Yeah, baby got kicked. Did she get my kicked? My journey. Because she was eating his grain. My hair. Oh my goodness, Sophia. Can I get out? Mom, mom. My hair very easy. Okay, here's what happens, mom. They all finish their grain, but Journey doesn't because Journey's like has the most grain, like Storm. So they all try to eat his grain. But then Wiser moves baby um, Scarlet because she's all done her grain. Are your legs cold? No. Why? My hands and legs. I don't are. think I can feel them, but. Like, <laughs> We are finally home. It was treacherous, you guys, but we're home. Anyway, we walked in the door and the girls found some other Christmas presents underneath the tree. And they're like, who's this? And I'm like, oh, it's for dad. I bought it for him. It's this, but don't tell him. And Sophia told me the craziest story. She's so smart, you guys. What was your story? So, um, dad wants to know what his present was. Just wait. Before she tells you, I have to tell you that I bought two presents when I was at the mall the other day with Nick. But two presents for Sam that he's never seen. Like, normally when we buy each other presents, I'm like, what do you want for Christmas? And then we are always together when I buy it. Um, but these ones I bought, and he doesn't know what they are, and it drives him crazy. Like, he gets mad because he doesn't know. So then Get used to it. He went behind my back, and he asked Sophia. What did he say? Um, I'll tell you what I got you if you tell me what you got me. That's what her dad said to her. So what did you say? Okay, you tell me what you got me first. And what did he say? I got you a Lemieux style pad. <laughs> like, come on! He didn't say what color, though. That is Sam, you guys. Okay. They got, yeah. So, and, and then, then I said, we got you a hat. <laughs> and it was a hat! <laughs> that is a really nice hat. You said that? I know, I know what I'm getting. I guess you never buy a hat. No, that's just a lie. <laughs> so yeah, she's smarter than, than I she thought. Looks. She's smarter than she looks. Anyway, that's so funny. Did he ever ask you? Mm -mm. No, see, he's smart. He goes to the littlest one when he thinks that he, he can trick. He goes to the one who will tell him. him. Ew! Ew! Sophia and I match. Hold on. <laughs> it's true! <laughs> gonna go to see our boys because I miss them desperately first first we're gonna bring our, our girls in because I'm not completely trustful about this their coat is enough defense against the weather like I believe that it is totally but mm, I still worry so we're gonna bring our horses in and feed them lunch and let them be in the arena I notice Grace is a bit wet from the snow and I want her to dry before nighttime because I don't even have a blanket that would fit her. Blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Just 
finishing up chores and I came out here to say hi to my horses because it feels like I hardly get any time. Ooh, shoot. Because it feels like I hardly ever have time to spend with them. And Stella just came up to me and was like, oh my gosh, I miss you. I miss you. Hi, sweet girl. Just a little bite. It's frozen. It's a little frozen. A little frozen. Wow, look at them side by side. We're gonna dance, have a good time. Dance, dance, all night long. We're gonna dance, dance, and have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Let's go. This day is getting better and better and better. I can't get out of the driveway. I totally cannot get out of the driveway. We've Is all worse? shoveled. Apparently it's all ice underneath the snow and I can't get up the little hill out of my driveway. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. We have risked our lives so many times today for the love of horses, for our horses. We've almost died. A man came, he heard us from his house trying to get out of our driveway. Gabby pushed. We almost got out. He finally came and pushed us out of my driveway. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's, that's how crazy nice. today's been. Yeah, he was nice. Anyway, the boy saw us. Storm saw us first. He's like, oh, they're here. He put, hey. look at them. Hey. Oh, we almost died for you guys. They have icicles on their blankets. Are you cold? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate having you guys outside, but it's the only thing I could do. Yeah, <laughs> what, what are you doing? You got dirt on you? You're coming in, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get you warm and fresh. We'll get your feet cleaned up. Have you been sleeping in the shelter? Hey, don't worry, Finn. He's like, please just take me out of here. Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. Storm's like, I'll go. <laughs> We're playing with you guys. Oh, so glad to be back with you. Come on, get him undone. He wants you to touch him. Take, him blank, take his blanket off. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember back when we were at our first barn, like when we first moved away from Fiona's barn? And and we were like, our horses didn't really love us that much. Like they didn't come to us in the field. Anyway, remember when we spent so much time, especially Sophie and I, like all of us, we spent so much time trying to get them to know us and come to us because never before were they our horses really they've always just lived in like herds and at farms now there are horses after being at home like it's such a huge change storm put his i was going around the corner coming in put his head up he saw me and he went like this and then he went to the gate like he's like oh, i'm coming oh, i hate having them someplace else but it, it's only been good it's only been a good experience he always does do you lay on your pee? His blankie on his stomach covered in pee. And look, that's pee. That's pee. That, oh my gosh. That's pee. This will teach you guys not to eat icicles. If that's you don't live in pee. Canada, if you don't live in Canada, you might not know that- Storm only lays on his pee. That kids break icicles off of things, buildings, and they eat them. But that is pure pee. That looks like blood. You know, that's just pee. Why is it so concentrated? He must not be drinking enough. No, cause it's ice, ice. Get that one. Too. Iced pee, guys. Get that one too. Iced pee. Iced pee. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.